Welcome to another video of SpaceX Update. Before I give you any update about SpaceX, let us look at the progress of NASA's Artemis 1 mission. NASA's moon rocket, the SLS rocket left the vehicle assembly building, maybe for the last time yesterday night. It was a bittersweet moment because SLS will lift off from launch pad 39B on August 29th on its way to the moon. After covering more than 4 miles taking more than 10 hours, the SLS rocket arrived at the launch pad at dawn. Now, the crawler transporter has been separated from the mobile launcher. SLS is now officially on the launch pad waiting for the final preparation for a journey to the moon. Artemis 1 will be a historic mission from many angles. Humans last went to the moon about 50 years ago. Although Artemis 1 will be an uncrewed mission, it will set the stepping stone for Artemis 2 mission which will be a crewed mission that will orbit the moon. Artemis 1 needs to gather important data for the whole Artemis program to be a success. We need to remember that SpaceX is playing a key role in the Artemis program. It is not the Orion spacecraft that will land humans back on the lunar surface. NASA chose SpaceX to develop a human landing system with Starship as the lunar lander. So, people outside the SpaceX circle should also support the Starship program. Okay, I have said enough. Let's go to Starbase. All the road closures for this week have now been cancelled. None of the road closures for this week came into effect. I think they want to roll out Booster 7 first to the launch pad before proceeding with any test involving fire. Maybe they want to conduct static fire on both the booster and the ship on the same day. Otherwise, why would they waste the past few days? Chopsticks Arms and the OLM are taking the center stage at Starbase right now. Multiple hydraulic pistons can now be seen installed on the chopstick arms, and crews can be seen preparing the orbital launch mount ahead of Booster 7's arrival. At the KSC Starbase, the seventh segment of the tower was rolled out on Monday evening. Typically, they stack a new tower segment on Tuesday morning but this time they are not. Are they waiting for a new superior crane? Recently, someone spotted a brand new SpaceX crane part heading for Cape. This is the crawler part of a Liebherr crane. Same as the one that SpaceX deploys at Texas Starbase at the moment. Well that is it for now. I will come back with more updates in the next video. If you want to support my work on this channel, you can join the channel and become a member. Or, leave a super thanks in this video. Or simply like the video, and share.